We're having the conversation again where we're talking about robot umpires and Major League Baseball umpires and how good or how bad they're doing, mostly the bad side. Usually umpires hover about 90%. I feel like 92%, maybe around that range, game to game basis. And Major League Baseball has survived for a very long time. Since the beginning has been played with umpires, real human beings all in the game and no one has really batted an eye. And uh, here we are today in 2023 and baseball is still having umpires, real human beings call the game based on what they see directly in front of them. Not so fast. A couple of years ago, MLB started getting serious about getting an automated strike zone, getting a 100% uniform strike zone. And that's been in the works in the minor leagues now for a couple of seasons. And I made a video about this earlier this year, actually. I had to make a video about it then because the Dodgers lost the game on an egregious call. And um, it was a pretty bad umpire game. And so I made a video about it, MLB needs robot umps. It is the World Series. All eyes are on the game right now. And we need the best umpires to make the best calls. The umpire who called game two, Quinn Wolcott was one of the best umpires, I believe all season long. And then he had one of his worst games in the World Series for game two. I have been a pro robot umpire person and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm usually more traditional, like I'm a big traditionalist about the game of baseball, but like with these rule changes, the pitch clock, like I was kind of for it. I want to say I was for it. Certainly wasn't against it. These rule changes, I'm all for it. Pitch clock was amazing. I think robot umpires would be amazing for the game of baseball and what it would do for the sport. 100% uniform strike zone. I, I don't see how that is a bad thing. Now, I know my thumbnail has a robot. There's not going to actually be a robot, but I don't play it. There's going to be actual human being. 8,000 minor league baseball games have been with the automated strike zone, and that's equivalent to three and a half. MLB seasons. Out with the old, in with the new, MLB should implement this robot umpire stuff. Rob Manfred was on a talk show not too long ago, I think last week. Basically he talked about the game is changing, the game is ever evolving, and I think robot umpires are going to be here sooner rather than later. I think MLB's aiming for 2025, that's what Rob Manfred said. I believe he said 2025, so not next year, but the following year we may just see some sort of automated K-Zone in the major leagues and there's going to be a new rule change going into the minor leagues next season where the pitch clock taking place down there is going to be uniformed at 17 seconds regardless of whether or not a base runner is on or not so currently it is 15 with nobody on base 20 with a runner on base the new rule should implement where it should be 17 whether a guy is on base or a guy is not on base it's going to be 17 seconds the entire game full middle ground let's be in the middle let's make a fair game i see no problem with 17 seconds there's gonna be people that don't like 17 seconds. If you're one of those people, sound off in the comment section. Why don't you like the pitch clock? Why don't you like the pitch clock? Why should it be longer? I get it, the injury part, but really so far to my knowledge, we didn't really see anything change from pitchers or anything like that weird, that out of the ordinary where pitchers just went down like flies. I think everybody was pretty much the same. Everybody got used to it and they pitched just fine. Same thing with the batters. Nobody really had pitch clock problems or pitch violation problems as the season went along. I'm honestly looking forward to it because Alfonso Marquez in game three of the World Series was pretty disasterful. He was pretty bad. I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of seeing blown calls left and right. I mean, the amount of calls he blew tonight and that we just see in general, not just tonight in the World Series or the series, we've seen for our entire life. And I get the human element, but at the end of the day, we want to get the calls right. And especially in the big games, you want to get the calls right. I think robot umpires, is the only way to do that automated strike zone is the only way to do that and i see no reason why mlb won't be doing that in the nearby future a couple of other tidbits here the new automated k zone would be a half inch higher in the strike zone whatever the standard uniform strike zone is now half inch higher top of the zone and it also makes the call based on where the ball passes the midpoint of the plate so never across the midpoint of the plate that's where it's going to make the call not where it touches the tip of the plate at the beginning or at the bottom at the end and it is being tested thoroughly in the minor leagues. So that being said, let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section about the robot umpires. I like to call them robot umpires. I mean, you just go on Twitter, go on X today, and you will just see a ton of comments talking about robot umpires. I mean, it was just, I mean, a plethora. I could put it on, on this channel here and show you guys, but I'm not going to do that. If you guys have social media, go ahead and look for yourselves. Just a plethora of fans, people watching the game, just crying out for help, saying we need robot umpires now. So I think the majority of people will 100%
Welcome to Rumble Empires. So Today's World Series, if you guys haven't noticed, I have been breaking out my jersey. I think I will make this an annual tradition where during the World Series week, I will break out my jerseys and kind of wear some jerseys for fun. Because I never wear them on the channel anyway. You will never see me rocking a Padres jersey at Dodger Stadium. Personally, right? I mean, I'll carry it to get it signed. I won't be wearing it. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off. I do appreciate you all sticking around and tuning in. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And subscribe for future videos and content like this. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Later.